today on Anti. So I was raised as Jehovah's Witness. Don't let it go, let it go. Good morning, welcome to countdown day seven. We have seven days until the baby shower. It's Sunday, my baby shower is next Sunday. If you're new, my name is Ashanti. If you're new, my name is Ashanti, but you can call me Anti if you're a subscriber. And I'm gonna count down till my baby shower because there's so much going on every day in between. Today, I'm actually going to go to a religious event that I'm going to talk to y'all about. <laughs> But we are also in the midst of getting ready. Uh, I'm trying to leave the house in like the next 15, 20 minutes. I packed lunch and it took a little longer than I expected. But it's all good. It's literally all good. So I've never talked about this on my channel, my religious background. Um, I don't necessarily follow it to a T now. And I still do, you know, consider myself Christian. I still consider myself conservative extremely like i don't i'm not that girl that you're finna see twerking i'm not that girl you're finna see with like ass and titties out like that's just not me and i guess that's because of my upbringing not i guess it is because of my upbringing so i was raised as a jehovah's witness yep <laughs> i feel like we get a lot of flags especially in school because when you follow in a certain kind of way of life and it differs from everybody else you're not big on holidays you're not celebrating your birthday all of that i think it's easy for people to judge and feel like how can you not um and i mean i'm not here to convince anybody or like explain anything to anybody but that's just kind of what it is like i definitely felt a little bit outcasted growing up but as i got older it I appreciated it because I found that my peers had a completely different set of morals than me. Like, so today we're going to what we call a convention. Um, there's kingdom halls all over the world. Kingdom halls are what we refer to as basically like our place of worship. So like, it's like a church, right? Um, it's a lot different from church. The vibe is a lot different. Um, you definitely find the vibe is a lot different. <laughs> We're going to that today. So, you you know, there's a certain kind of dress code. You want to dress up. Men wear suits. Women wear dresses. Um, you know, you want to wear a modest kind of dress. It's not like... It's not like... A, it's kind of like imagine being a bridesmaid and wearing something like a casual bridesmaid dress. That's kind of the vibe. But yeah, I kind of just want to come and talk to y'all about that because that's where we're going today. That's where we're going today. That's what we're getting ready for today. Um, my mother-in-law is actually having like a dinner at her house. So we may go to that, but uh, I'm not sure. That's something up to my husband for sure. So we'll see. But I don't want to waste no more damn time trying to like get ready and all of that and talk to y'all so what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna just go ahead and finish getting ready and we'll catch up in a minute cool we back at home <laughs> I really didn't film that much there because honestly, we did not even sit down that long. The whole day we was there from like nine to about three, eight to like three. Girl, we may have sat down for like two, two hours at the most. We was walking around so much today. We saw so many people that we haven't seen. 
me and my baby was real cute today you hear me yeah yeah matching the parents period i'm gonna insert some pictures and hopefully we'll probably take some more tonight just because we both wearing black um we're going to my mother-in-law's house she's hosting a dinner for everybody because like i said we got families from savannah some of these people are gonna be right back again next weekend for my baby shower so we got to appreciate the people for making the effort because it means a lot because two trips in a month and these people probably didn't book hotels this this weekend and all of that so yeah so i really appreciate them coming down and all that so let's go eat because i'm hungry okay let's go Y'all know this daily vlogging is teaching me a lot about myself. And one thing about me, I am a perfectionist and I'm really, I barely picked up the camera today. I was having so much fun. We talked to so many people, went to my mother-in-law's house and I didn't want to put a camera in people's face. So I didn't really put a camera in people's face. I had so much fun today. I really didn't even vlog too much at my mother-in-law's house. Y'all saw them empty plates. She made lima beans. She made greens. She made rice. She had ribs. She had chicken. She had it all. She had macaroni. Like, she had it all. So, I feel like when I saw that food and, like, all the people there and, like, it's some people who know me but don't really know me. And, like, people came this weekend out of town that's coming next weekend out of town for the baby shower. It was a lot. And I kind of want to catch y'all up a little bit. So, originally, y'all know, we we went to the convention center. We had the convention. Um, the theme was for patience. And I found it very on time because... You know, even with, I talk about this a lot in like daily vlogs, like even with the daily vlogs, I'm learning to be patient with myself. I'm going to get better tomorrow. I know not to do what I did the day before, all of that. So a lot of the things they were touching on patience, they went through the prophets and how like the prophet Hosea, the prophet Micah, all of those people had, were in trying times and how they basically were able to exercise patience. And so it kind of went back to us, like how can we exercise patience, right? And I realized that even though I have patience, I feel in a lot of areas, and even though I can recognize patience in other relationships, it's really hard for me to be patient with myself. It really is. Like even with daily vlogging, I find that I'm easily frustrated and I get frustrated with myself easily because I know the kind of quality work I can put out and when it doesn't happen or when I make a mistake I find that I'm not really that patient with myself you're not gonna start off good you know what I mean like just fucking start <laughs> that's what I took from the religious event we went to today I think it was like I said really timely and it's something that everybody can improve upon and I appreciate it. And, you know, I, I, I personally haven't had a chance to really um, go to something biblical and that draws you specifically, draws you closer to God. I haven't been able to go to a place of worship in a while. And to do that and see so many people and so many friends and so many, all of that, that have watched me grow up and people that are coming to the baby shower next weekend and people that knew my husband from back in Georgia um because some people from Georgia were there like I said I don't know it just it it means a lot to me it really does thank y'all for watching this is officially day seven seven days left until my baby shower it's gonna be a boo-boo baby we have seven days left until my baby shower. I cannot freaking believe it. So it's getting close to time. It's getting down to the wire. It's getting there. So anyways, y'all, y'all have a good night. Y'all stay safe and I will catch y'all tomorrow.
to judge